Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we have this cool, amazing part right here in my hand. And basically what this is, is a combo of both a wireless keyboard right here that also has a touchpad right here, side by side, which is pretty awesome. So it's a two in one. So first thing first, I'm actually opening the product to show you guys what the product looks like and what comes out of the package first. All right, so when we first open it up, this is basically what it looks like inside. So they give you guys the actual keyboard stuff right here, which I'll show you guys how to use in a second. And at the very bottom, this is basically what is provided for you guys right here. So they provide you guys the cable with the USB to micro USB right here. And they also do provide you guys a user man right here to teach you guys how to set up a product. And that is basically everything that's in the packaging itself. So now let's take a look at the actual keyboard itself right here. So this is basically what the product looks like right here. So basically you get everything on here like a regular normal keyboard. So you just also control like the brightness level on here, the volume setting, everything on here. And there's three other buttons right here, if I can see. And basically what these buttons are, are the Bluetooth connection. So it actually pairs three devices at the same time for one keyboard, which is pretty awesome. But you can only use one at a time. And then we can see right here, we have the touchpad right here then use that has two buttons right here. So I believe there's a right button and a left button right here, like a regular normal mouse. If you guys can see right here, that is basically where you guys will plug in the cable to recharge your actual product itself. So if you guys are wondering how long is the battery life on the actual product itself, it has a standby of 200 hours. And all you guys need to do is charge it for two hours to fully charge the product itself from zero to 100. And if I take a look at the back part right here, you can see that this is basically what it looks like in the back part. So they do have the anti-skate material here and also right here as well. They do have a button right here that's on and off button to activate it. So you guys want to push that right here to activate it. So the way how you guys pair it is just by pressing each one down so let's say you guys want to pair number three just want to press and hold it down until the light start blinking blue all right so right now it's blinking blue so that's how you guys know when it's ready to pair so obviously you guys can't see it too well right now so i'll show you guys how to use it in a second and if you guys are wondering what kind of like devices you can actually use this for basically almost any type of apple product you guys can definitely use this product for but that's basically everything that's on the product itself let me actually go test this out to show you guys how to use it and whether it actually works first and then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second all right so right here i got the keyboard all set right here you can see that this is basically what it looks like so let's turn it on and try it out and see when it actually works all right so i just turned it on in the back part you can see the blinking light right there I'm gonna use Bluetooth 1, so what I wanna do is press and hold it down right here until it blinks pretty fast, all right? So it should be blinking that fast right there, and now it's in pair it, all right? So you can see we have our keyboard right here, so if I connect it, so now it's connected. So in order to use the actual keyboard itself now, it should work. So let's try out the touchpad right here first, all right? So if I use the touchpad right here to click it, you can see that it does work, and I'm clicking on here, you guys can see. If I left click, you can see that works as well. And obviously there's a lot of other functionality on the actual trackpad itself as well. If I saw the list that I provided for you guys earlier, that's all the information right there. If I use the keyboard right here to type stuff as well, you guys can definitely see that it does work. And then numbers as well. So all of it does work. If I use the button to increase or lower the volume, that works as well. If I want to increase or lower the brightness, I can do it right here with these two buttons right here. All right. If I bring it back down, up, down, and if you guys want to pair another device, like I mentioned, all you need to do is press it down and hold it down. All right, and then I can pair the second device on here. And once you guys pair that one, you guys can actually pair another one using this one right here. So you just want to do the same thing, hold it down. All right, and then once you guys see that blinking light like that, that's when it's ready to pair. And if you guys want to change back to the first one, just click on it one time. And now you guys are using the Bluetooth one, which is what I have connected onto this device right here. Some other cool features about the keyboard itself or this part right here is the fact that it does have an auto sleep design. So if you guys don't use it for around 30 minutes, it turns off by itself to go into like an energy saving mode. So that way you can save battery on here, which is super cool. So I definitely love how quiet both the keyboard and the actual trap pad is. So that way you guys don't have to worry about disturbing other people, especially if you guys have kids or baby that are sleeping around you or whatever. And if you guys are wondering if your device can support this keyboard or whatever, you guys can refer to this list right here. So mostly if the product or the trap pack, it doesn't work, it's mostly because your product is not compatible. So if you guys refer to that list that I just showed you guys, there are specific requirements of what kind of device or what kind of operating system and everything you guys need to use in order to work. But the one that I got right here, it does work with the software that I have and everything. And welcome back guys. So now I saw a quick test of product itself and see that everything works really, really well. Buttons are really easy to use. The whole process of setting up is really easy as well. And the trackpad on this product itself works exactly the same as like a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, and the list goes on. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Now that we do unboxing and testing the product itself, 
Now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I would definitely have to say that these keyboards are definitely really worth it. Or if you guys find anything similar to this, it's also worth it as well. I definitely love the combination of how it has a wireless keyboard option right here and also a trackpad built in so I didn't have the option to choose from. And even if you guys don't want to use this option and you just want to use your own mouse, you definitely can as well. But definitely really nice to have this option here if you guys don't want to use a mouse. And obviously I like the top part here as well so you can control the brightness level, the volume setting, everything all on here. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have this one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save the money for something else that you do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That would definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.